Okay, this is where you should be. Quadratic equations in standard form. And I know some of you are scrambling to finish up that last homework assignment. I need you to set that aside and make sure you're staying with me through this. We only have a couple of examples to do here and then you're going to have time to work. So just set it aside. Okay, you may remember when we talked about linear equations, we had a standard form for linear equations and it looked like this. AX plus BY equals C. Does that look familiar? Do you remember us talking about that? Yeah. A little bit at least? Okay, yeah. remember that when we wrote it in that form, A, B, and C were actually numbers. So it may have been something like 3X plus 4Y equals 12. Standard form for a quadratic kind of works along the same lines, but it's a little bit different. Here's what standard form looks like here. Y equals AX squared plus BX plus C. And then A, B, and C will be numbers just like before. Okay. So standard form has no crazy parentheses. It has nothing, you know, moved to one side or the other. It's everything on one side and simplified. But in this one, the Y is by itself. Up here, the Y was not by itself. So no, no it does not. Well, Pythagorean theorem, mm, no, I'd be stretching to find a link, but yeah. This is a quadratic. Anytime I say quadratic, that means something with an x squared in it. Okay, so that's where the x squared is coming from. Okay? But you can't just look at an equation and say, okay, here's what A is and here's what B is and here's what C is, if you want to try to convert it. There's no trick, there's no formula to doing this. You just work it out. You just do the math, okay? And this is the, the part that people get confused on is because I hand them an equation and I say put it in standard form and immediately people want to say, okay, well, how do I figure out what A is? How do I figure out what B is? There's not a way to figure it out other than to just simplify the problem and, and make it look like that. So your steps to turning an equation into standard form are to expand and simplify. <coughs> which are words you should be familiar with from a couple of lessons ago. Expand and simplify. And then the second step is to get y by itself. So to do this, you're just doing the math, okay? No fancy tricks. To convert this into standard form, I'm going to work it out with PEMDAS, <coughs> which means first I need to worry about this square on the exponent or on the parentheses here. How do I square x minus four? Remember. just a couple lessons ago. Not square root, I'm not solving. I'm simplifying. Oh yeah, you do it twice. Twice, yeah. So y equals 2 times x minus 4 times x minus 4 plus 1. Okay. Now what do I do with those two sets of parentheses? Foil, yeah. I'm going to leave the 2 and the 1 alone. I'm going to just leave them how they are for now. So y equals 2, and then I'm going to start foiling. So x times x is x squared, yep. Yeah. Next would be minus 4x. Inside would be net minus 4x. And then negative 4, negative 4 would be positive 16. Let's combine my like terms in the middle. <coughs> 2 oh, times you. x squared minus 8x plus 16, and then a plus 1 on the outside. Now if I'm following order of operations, what do I do now? Distribute. Good. Distribute the 2. So 2x squared minus 16x plus 32, and then I still have this plus 1 hanging on at the end. 
Colvin? Yeah. Um, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Last thing. Isaac. Uh, y equals 2x squared minus 16x plus 33. Good. Just combine the 32 and the 1. Okay. Now, does that look like that? Oh, sorry, you can't see it on mine, but does it look like our standard form? Yes. Here's A, here's B, here's C. Okay? That's how you get it into standard form, is you just work it out. Now, some of you can probably skip a couple of those steps. Maybe not skip it, but combine some of those steps. Like, you wouldn't have to write out the whole thing again to combine your like terms. Some of you might just be able to do it right off the bat. Okay? Some of you, when you're doing this step, might be able to combine these numbers right away. Be careful with doing that, but it's okay with me if you combine some of those steps. However, I don't think for a second I should see any of you with no work on your paper at all, okay? Because you're not going to be able to get through this whole process without writing a single thing down. So I should see at least a couple of these steps written out on your paper. <coughs> Let's try one more. Let's try example number two. Okay, so first I'm going to expand this. I'm going to write it out twice. Okay. Foil these together. That will give me x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 36. Everyone follow me okay with that? Okay. So now y plus 2 equals 1 half. Let's combine my 6x's. Distribute the one half. What's one half times x squared? Oh, one half squared. X. One half x squared, yeah. Okay. I have a lot of people who want to say one half times x squared would just be x. That's not 2x, that's x squared. So just like 3 times x squared would be 3x squared. 1 half times x squared is 1 half x squared. Um, 1 half times negative 12 is negative 6x, and 1 half times 36 is 18. What's the last thing I still have to do? <laughs> Colvin, are you okay? No. Go get another drink if you need it. Okay. Not right now. Okay, I need to get y by itself. This time, though, that 2 is on the other side of the equal sign, so I'm going to have to subtract it. Okay, to move it to the other side. In this one, the 32 and the 1 were just right next to each other on the same side. Here, they're separated by the equal sign. So I'm subtracting the 2 to move it. And I would end up with y equals 1 half x squared minus 6x plus 16. Final answer. Can you handle that? Do you need to do the third example? No. Oh, please. Okay. Okay. Um, so your homework tonight is, I think there's eight problems like this that you have to do. Eight? I might be wrong. Maybe six. And then there's a few graphs that you have to do as well. I would recommend if you don't have a graphing calculator that you start with the graphs so that you can do those first. Okay.